It has been a difficult stretch for Albertans as we deal with near record extreme cold over the past. Hold on. There you go. That's much better. Many Albertans being forced indoors as a result of this cold weather, certainly trying our patience. And that's forced us to come up with some creative ways to beat our cabin fever. I don't remember ever having an indoor recess this long before. The snow covered playground in Edmonton has remained empty for the past week. With wind chills often dipping below minus 40, students have swapped out slides and swings for the whip and nay nay during lunchtime dances. They're in a routine now, so they know they can come in as soon as the doors are open. They we're going to have indoor recess. There's lots of different activities that they can do. So I think the first week was tough. I think the second week they're almost settling into a routine now. But with cold weather records falling, including an 11 day stretch of at least minus 24, patience is running thin. What's the one word you would use to describe this winter so far? Uh, can I swear? <laughs> My face hurts and that's just not fun. Makes me want to go on a trip. <laughs> Most people delivering their frustrations online from the warmth of the indoors. Vacations often cited as the only way people are getting through the grueling stretch. Pets also not feeling warm towards winter. A British paper suggesting a third of all dogs feel down during the season. But not everyone is letting the Arctic conditions get them down. So we're taking a look at you right now. You're not wearing a coat. How come? It's not cold enough. Okay, why is it not cold enough? People are complaining. Well, they clearly need to, you know, get a bit used to it. Try it, actually. You find it quite refreshing. And while the staff and students at Sweetgrass Elementary are eager to embrace the outdoors again, they too see a silver lining in this frigid forecast. I've learned the importance of getting outside and getting fresh air and what a difference that makes just for kids with brain breaks. I've learned how incredibly resilient teachers and kids can be in a situation like this. Ian Edmonton, Courtney Terrio, City News.